Okay, so it has been a while since I have done an actual proper video with the GoPro and of course Luna has immediately decided to join as soon as the camera started. She was perfectly fine just chilling on the couch this whole time I was setting up. But the moment I pressed that button, here she is. Yeah, and I'm wearing cuddles today, I know. But you do. And Ace is here too. Come here. Come here. No? You mean no? Alright, Ava. So, well, now that I've gotten fur in my face. <laughs> um, so today is Wednesday, January the 15th which means it is David's 25th birthday which is its own thing <laughs> anytime my brother has a birthday it's like no you're not allowed to be that old but at the same time I'm not allowed to be this old what's happening what is life Luna is taking every gesture as let me head bump your hand <laughs> so um this has been rather post Owned, considering last year I did my bookshelf tour like mid-December and here we are mid-January but schedules have been crazy and yeah it's been some time but hopefully I will be transitioning out of night shift before much longer and then I can figure something else out and maybe get myself into a four-day work week ace anyway so, yeah, cats are crazy as usual. Don't go for the cord now. Anyway, um, I'm gonna try and do better about keeping the filming shorter than last year because last year I like talked a lot about each of the books and then ended up cutting it all out essentially apart from like one or two books. So I want to just straight up film that way this time and hopefully save time because I filmed from like 10.30ish to like 4 or somewhere in there and that was a lot and unnecessary. Um, so yeah, going through the bookshelves, I know some people prefer not to do the whole going through every single book on the shelves thing, but I do partly because it gives me a chance to like actually look through my collection more thoroughly each year because it gives me a way to go back and be like okay so this is what books I had this is where my journey was this is what books I have read since that year which ones I haven't gotten around to reading and you know self-shaming on that a little bit but I've been doing good like I finished 2019 with 134 books that's a lot and 33 of them were just in August that was a lot I'm still a little unsure of how I accomplished that because Order of the Phoenix was included in one of those and that's 870 pages on its own and when you think about it 33 books in 31 days means I'm reading more than one book a day when you break it all out so yeah miracles <laughs> um so yeah before I continue dragging this out indefinitely I'm gonna go ahead and get into the bookshelves and see where everything is at um generally I believe I'm somewhere in the 300s whereas I was Oh, maybe more than that by this point, but it was like, I think it was like either 254 or 294 at the end of the bookshelf tour last year. Um, most of my books are here on the shelves between the four bookshelves that I have and then there's one that Ed primarily has and then I recently got the TBR cart um, and I'm still short on space because there's still a handful of books that are out on loan to people. But yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Let's go. Okay, so... <clears throat> 
As opposed to last year, you'll find that my bookshelves are much more full because I have short of space, but more or less I have just currently been organizing my books first by size and then by color and then within color like I believe author from there <laughs> if I have things that are really close together. So yeah, getting on to it. It's... So starting on, this is going to be my far left bookshelf, also known as like bookcase one, top shelf. Um, so, Beauty and the Beast, The Lover's Dictionary by David Levitt, Penelope by Marilyn Kay, book one in the Septimus Heath series, which is called Magic by Andrew Sage, Just Like Heaven by Mark Levy, Soul Surfer by Bethany Hamilton, Wayside School is Falling Down, which is book one of the Wayside School series by Lewis Sacker, uh, No Fear Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, I Work at a Public Library by Gina Sheridan. The actual first book of the Wayside School series, Sideways Stories from Wayside School, again by Lewis Sacker. Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Another Wayside School book, Wayside School Gets a Little Stranger by Lewis Sacker. Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Chester. Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk, Holes by Lewis Sacker, Just Don't Fall by Jess Sun Josh Sunquist, Matilda by Roald Dahl, Catch Me If You Can by Frank W. Abagnale, The One by Kira Cass, A Good Year by Peter Mayo, What's Left of Me by Kat Zhang, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George, Heartless by Sarah Shepard, the Circle by Dave Eggers, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan, The Last Little Blue Envelope by Maureen Johnson, Mini Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, Perfect by Sarah Shepard, Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson, Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham, Flawless by Sarah Shepard, World War Z by Max Brooks, The Elite by Kira Cass, Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, Where the Heart Is by Billy Letts, Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard, Wanted by Sarah Shepard, Aventure d'Aliste au Pays de Merveille by Lois Carroll, A Divided Mind by M. Belitter, Unbelievable by Sarah Shepard, The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Wicked by Sarah Shepard, One Sit Summer in Paris by Sarah Morgan, the Selection by Kira Cass, Safe Haven by Nicholas Parks, 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson, Choose Your Own Autobiography by Neil Patrick Harris, One Day by David Nichols, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn, The Crown by Kira Cass, Killer by Sarah Shepard, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, The Book of Awesome by Neil Pashrika, Divergent by Veronica Roth, Insurgent by Veronica Roth, Allegiant by Veronica Roth, Vampire Diaries The Awakening and the Struggle by L.J. Smith, The Vampire Diaries The Fury and Dark Reunion by L.J. Smith, The Bookseller by Cynthia Swanson, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, and A World Just Right by Jen Brooks, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Love Blind by C. Desir and Jolene Perry, Uglies by Scott Westerfield, Austin Land by Shannon Hale, The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Bach, To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Hahn, P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Hahn, Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Hahn, Emergency Contact by Mary Choi, Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan, Confessions of a Shopaholic, by Sophie Kinsella, What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard, Cinder by Marissa Meyer, Marked by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, New Moon by Stephanie Meyer, Love and First Sight by Josh Sundquist, The Program by Suzanne Young, It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini, Pretties by Scott Westerfield, Westerfeld, Westerfeld, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, 
Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, Fangirl by Rainbow Row, My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picoult, As Old as Time by Liz Braswell, Chosen by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, Revealed by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, Untamed by PC, Cra- PC Cast and Kristen Cast, Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, An All in One Copy of Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, After You by Jojo Moyes, Tales to Cat Tales Tell by Elaine B. Sanders, which I went into detail about in my bookshelf tour last year. If You Find This Letter by Sarah Pops, by, by Hannah Brencher. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. The Unofficial Guide to Walt Disney World 2004. Binge by Tyler Oakley. Still Me by Jojo Moyes. The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan. In Real Life by Joey Costefa. Tentation by Sarah, by Stephanie Meyer. Wow, that is a mess up. <laughs> which is, of course, New Moon in French. Hésitation by Stephanie Meyer, which is Eclipse in French. Revelation by Steffi, Stephanie Meyer. I cannot today. And of course, this one would be Broken Dawn in French. The Random Revelations of Emma. Wow. Okay. The Random Revelations of Emma Falwell by myself and Heather, who now goes by Robin, um, who is my step weird. It's that's about as close as it gets, honestly, with things now. <laughs> I don't even know how to best explain how she's related, but she's technically a step knees yeah <laughs> no not a step it would be a niece in law or something we're not gonna get into it <laughs> coffee at luke's by jennifer cruzy an all-in-one copy of the chronicles of narnia by c.s lewis the other side of heaven by john h grober and Streetwise French, which is a dictionary slash thesaurus by Ian Pickup and Rock Harris. And this is basically my official Harry Potter shelf, even though I've um, put a lot of my French books on here as well, and some of my Harry Potter books are not on the shelf, but it's a work in progress because of spacing. And I'm hoping to kind of bridge together the Harry Potter stuff a little bit more when we move and everything soon. So anyway, getting right into things. Uh, Paris par arrondissement. The Little Prince by Antoine de saint exupery The December 2000 issue of Reader's Digest with a special article on J.K. Rowling. Le Fautoyante by Gaston Leroux. Les Vacances de Petit Nicolas. A Tour des Anges by Philip Pullman. Harry Potter à l'école des sorcières. Harry Potter à <laughs> et la chambre des secrets. Harry Potter et le prisonnier d'Escaban. Harry Potter et la cou de feu. Harry Potter et le prince de Sanglé. Harry Potter et les reliques de la mort. Harry Potter et l'ordre du phoenix. Which, as you can see, is obviously much larger than the rest of my French collection. Just to continue that um, brick of fridge joke. The Sorcerer's Companion by Anne Zola Kronzik and Elizabeth Kronzik. Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, a spellbinding guide, a spellbinding guide to the films. Muggles and Magic by George Beam. J.K. Rowling, The Wizard Behind Harry Potter by Mark Shapiro. Harry Potter Wizards Unite, the official game guide. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, Quidditch Through the Ages by Kenilworthy Wisp, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Parts 1 and 2 by J.K. Rowling, T- John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne, Exploring, by- <laughs> Exploring Harry Potter from the Beecham Source Books Collection by Elizabeth D. Schaefer, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, The Science of Harry Potter by Roger Highfield. And 
that covers my Harry Potter shelf. Um, the Fantastic Beast screenplays are also supposed to be over here, but they're currently on the TBR card, so they will be coming up later. But for now, we move on to the middle shelf. We have Adulting, How to Become a Grown-Up, and 535 Easiest Steps by Kelly Williams Brown. This is the Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Every Day by David Levithan. The Kill Order by James Dashner. Shopaholic Ties the Knot by Sophie Kinsella. No Easy Way Out by Dana Lawrence. The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Shopaholic and Baby by Sophie Kinsella. Shopaholic and Sister by Sophie Kinsella. Where She Went by Gail Foreman. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. The Forgotten Book by McDill Glasser. Tandem by Anna Jarzak, The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, If I Stay by Gail Foreman, Letters to the Lost by Brigitte Cameron, The Vault in Our Stars by John Green, To Rise Again at a Decent Hour by Joshua Ferris, Goodbye Days by Jeff Zentner, The Book Jumper by Mechtel Glasser, Beautiful Darkness by Kenny Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Midnight Sun by Trish Cook, my Name is Memory by Anne Brashares. Shopaholic Takes Manhattan by Sophie Kinsella. Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. In Some Other Life by Jessica Brody. The Scorch Trials by James Dashman. Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Crest by Marissa Meyer. Nerve by Jeannie Ryan. The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. Sarah's Key by Tatiana Durazny. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. Warm Bodies in the New Hunger by Isaac Marion. Hate List by Jennifer Brown. Again But Better by Christine Riccio. Around the World in 80 Clichés by Laura Lee. A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Future by Michael J. Fox. Book Love by Debbie Tong. Little Moments of Love by Katana Chetwind. The Airsats Elevator, The Hostile Hospital, The Penultimate Peril, The End, Lemony Snicket, The Unauthorized Autobiography, The Grim Grotto, The Wide Window, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Bad Beginning, The Miserable Mill, The Reptile Room, The Slippery Slope, The Vile Village, and The Austere Academy. The Price of Paradise by Colin Brake, The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album, The Timekeeper by Mitch Album. The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto by Mitch Album. Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album. Physic from the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sade. The Next Person You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. I Never Metaphor I Didn't Like by Dr. Marty Groth. And this one, half of the reason I have it is because I was already looking for this book and was kind of considering it, but now it's a hilarious story because when I found this at Second and Charles, they had accidentally price marked it for $4.99.99. Unfortunately, they stole the sticker, but I will insert a picture that I took before they did that. The First Phone Call from Heaven by Mitch Album. Sideways Arithmetic from Wayside School by Lewis Sacker. Voyage on the Great Titanic. And I probably should have made it more clear, but um, obviously I did not pay sticker price. I mean, the second and Charles supposed sticker price for the metaphor book. I did bring it up to them at the checkout and they were like, Oh yeah, um, you're right, that's definitely not the right price. I don't remember offhand how much I paid for it, but it was probably within like $10. Anyway, moving on. This, how did this end up down here? This is not where this belongs. <laughs> what? Even? Like, I have no idea how this wound up here. I'm honestly wondering if... Either I was really not paying attention or someone else put this away, like Ed. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt's Commander. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move that back up to the Harry Potter shelf where it belongs. Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery, Ink Death by Cornelia Funk, Twilight the Director's Notebook by Catherine Hardwick, The Roald Dahl Omnibus, The Three Signs of a Miserable Job by Patrick Lencioni, Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes, The 
Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer, The Nanny Diaries by Emma, Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krauss, and the final book on this shelf, Nemesis by Brandon Rikes, Yes Please by Amy Poehler, The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks, What Dreams May Come by Richard Matheson, Scarlet by Alexandra Ripley, He's With Me by Tamara Summers, A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks, Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, Night by Ellie Wiesel, The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks, A Stranger is Watching by Mary Higgins Clark, The Born Legacy by Eric Van Lusbader, Pay It Forward by Catherine Ryan Hyde, Somewhere in Time by Richard Matheson, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, Emma by Jane Austen, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, Anne of the Island by Ellen Montgomery, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, Anne of Wendy Poplars by Ellen Montgomery, Anne of Avonlea by Ellen Montgomery, Inferno by Dan Brown, The Tour du Monde on 80 Jours by Jules Verne, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, The Princess Bride by William Goldman, Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood, The Born Identity by Robert Ludlum, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, The Born Supremacy by Robert Ludlum, The Born Ultimatum by Lo Robert Ludlum, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, The Diary of a Go Young Girl by Anne Frank, Love Undercover by Joe Edwards, A Novel Idea by Amy Friedman, The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue, The Born Sanctioned by Eric Van Lusbader, The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown, Red Sparrow by Jason Matthews, The Born Deception by Eric Van Lusbader, Origin by Dan Brown, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer, Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Awakened by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Destined, and Hidden, Lucky Man by Michael J. Fox, Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer, Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer, Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepard, Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, Fascination by Stephanie Meyer, which is Twilight in French, The Unofficial Ultimate Harry Potter Spellbook, where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein, Keep Me Posted by L Lisa Beasley, Surviving High School by Lily Holmes, When Life Gives You Lululemons by Lauren Weisberger, Revenge Wears Prada, The Devil Returns by Lauren Weisberg, Annie Returns by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krauss, Let's Pretend This Never Happened by Jenny Lawson, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson, This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, the Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, I Can't Make This Up by Kevin Hart, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, A Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Paris by Edward Rutherford, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chopsky, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, Heaven and Hell by John Jakes, The Silent Stars Go By and Touched by an Angel, Remembrance of the Daleks and Prisoner of the Daleks by Ben Aronovich and Trevor Baxendale accordingly. Because You Love to Hate Me, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, Final Girls by Riley Sager, and The Last Time I Lied also by Riley Sager, Contact by Carl Sagan, The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith, Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Illustrated Edition, the Illustrated Edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Illustrated, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire also the Illustrated Edition, The Hunger Games, the Official Illustrated Movie Companion, Twilight, the Complete Illustrated Movie Companion, New Moon, the Official Illustrated Movie Companion, and Eclipse, the Illustra Official Illustrated Movie Companion. Back to the Future, The Ultimate Visual History, and the final book for this shelf, Titanic, which is also similar to the movie companion books that I have. Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pessel, One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, Mind Walker by A.J. Steiger, The Sun is Also a Star by, Nicholas, by Nicola Yoon, We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sundquist, Five Feet Apart by Rachel Libincott. Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me by Mindy Kaling, 
The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, Girls in Pants, The Third Summer of the Sisterhood by Amber Shares, What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera, Forever in Blue, The Fourth Summer of the Sisterhood by Amber Shares, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Amber Shares, Someday by David Levithan, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, Life's a Witch by Brittany Garagodalis, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Love a la Mode by Stephanie Kate Strom, Why Not Me by Minnie Kaling, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, Always Looking Up by Michael J. Fox, Thor by Veronica Roth, The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Amber Shares, What the Spell by Brittany Garagodalis, French Women Don't Get Fat by Marielle uh, Guiano, Save the Date by Morgan Matson, and Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly, The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, The Last Star by Rick Yancey, Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Menescalco, Friend Request by Laura Marshall, The Hidden Power of Messing Up <laughs> uh, by The Try Guys, you know what it really says, but you know. I Am America and So Can You by Stephen Colbert. The Unofficial Harry Potter Cookbook by Dinah Bacoltz. Enchanté by Gita Trelise. The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger. The Lost World by Michael Crichton. White Oleander by Janet Fitch. One Day in December by Josie Silver. All That You Leave Behind by Aaron Lee Carr. North and South by John Jakes. For Better and Worse by Margot Hunt. Landline by Rainbow Rowell, Severance by Ling Ma, Ghosted by Rosie Walsh, Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson, The Other Me by Saskia Sargonson, Love and War by John Jake, The Coming of the Terrafiles by Michael Moorcock, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, How Not to Die Alone by Richard Roper, Miss the Book of a Tri- of Atris by Randon Robin Miller with David Wingrove. Then We Came to the End by Joshua Ferry. And the Great Pretender by Susanna Cahalan. And now we're on the final, final official shelf, <laughs> the bottom shelf of my four, fourth book case. Um, we have my crazy shelf, as was briefly shown in the last bookshelf tour. Though it has slightly evolved, but not really. <laughs> Um, so, just kind of glance through things. We have got this binder, which um, has a bunch of my old writing in it. Specifically, I believe this is the story that my friend Rebecca and I used to write um, one paragraph at a time and switch back and forth during class. And during our free time so yeah this is a long time ago 2011 nine years <laughs> yeah so that there's that and then very 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 old fan fiction that I also did yeah and the one of the original drafts of hi Luna hello what you doing anyway so this is some of the notes and the original draft from the random revelations book that I showed earlier. Uh, I'm just like all up in here. Yeah, no. So yeah, this is when we originally also did the whole thing of switching back and forth between paragraphs so you can see our separate handwriting going back and forth. And we literally just went through and just wrote as we went along. We had vague ideas of what we wanted to do as we started off, but for the most part, it was all just winging it. <laughs> and this is what happens when you start deciding to write a story in the wee hours of the morning. So yeah. 
and then I've got this little like newspaper from school. A bunch of old papers, scholarship essays, wow. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Oh, anyway. Back on out of this thing. And I just have this in the front, which is, I just typed up a bunch of the titles of books I had in my collection at the time on my typewriter, and there we go. Okay. And we have Novi the Princess, which is our princess lives in French. Know Your Cat by Bruce Fogel. And moving along, we have an old journal. We have Comment peut-on être français? Which is a French, like, little workbook they got from Eleanor. We have A Piece of the Size of the Sun by Jack Perlitsky. We have my senior year scrapbook that I made with Shutterfly. And we have Southern Lights, which is a blurb book that someone in our church made for the Atlanta Temple um, rededication celebration that we did in 2011. Where we had the whole thing. This was our group here, and that is me there. Practices for the dance. And again, there in the little blue shirt. Must have passed where Beth and I did the Olympic flags. But it should be in here. This one had pictures of it. Oh, yep, just this little blurb right there. Anyway, that's enough focus on that. <laughs> and then we have one of my French textbooks, Son and Son. Yearbooks, more French textbooks. Yearbooks again, <laughs> French textbooks, French textbooks. Uh, I believe this is the Spanish um, guide. More yearbooks, baby book, folder for probably more story stuff. Oh, back when I did Harry Potter snail mail. <laughs> in like 2012 and little used <laughs> the pages I traced this font off of my laptop screen a plus hard work <laughs> um yeah wonder if the ones I received are in here too that would be awesome I don't remember 
and anyway, then I've got this stuff. Yep, it's a little folder full of random. from school and stuff. My AP French textbook. A writing book. Recent novel. Dang. And a coloring book. And that officially completes the main shelves of my collection. So now we just move on to the TBR cart and any loose books I have sitting on top. Alright, so here we have the little TBR cart. And as I mentioned the other day, the top shelf is kind of my little notebooks for tracking my reading throughout each month. Now my bookmarks are in the little bag. And then this middle bucket uh, of the shelf, we have my two current books that I'm reading. And I started um, doing, sorry my hair is a mess because I got real sweaty. Um, I started trying this whole thing where I've seen a couple people like Book Roast where they take off the book jackets while they're reading the books because for me like I get really OCD about them not being like perfectly lined up all the time so I'm like constantly like re shifting the jacket and everything so I took a page out of their book and have been taking off the book jacket while I've been reading my hardcover books the last couple books and I actually kind of like it because I don't have to worry about it getting like Kind of torn or bent when I'm putting it in my bag for work every day and also it's kind of cool to actually see what the books like it look like underneath the jackets because I never really look underneath it or at least I very rarely do unless it's like looking for it for reading marathon prompt purposes so yeah that's been a thing I've been doing lately moving back into it um, we have the book I'm primarily listening to on audio, which is The Death Cure by James Dashner. The book I'm primarily physically reading through is Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco, as you can see there. And so this book, I'll show you the jacket later. So those are my primary books that I'm in the middle of reading currently. And then this is the rest of like my immediate sort of TBR. And a little bit of overflow because the bottom shelf got full. So first we have my planner. Oh my god. It is a little tough to get things in and out while I'm in. Um, so there's first my little planner for this year. 2020 only. And so, in the planner, I have been keeping track of a few things, like if I go to any stores, if um, what I'm reading that particular day, what I've been watching, um, and that's pretty much the primary of it. And then instead of doing just like a big major TBR list in the back like I did with the last two planners, um, just doing like a monthly one of what's at the top of my list basically. So we have here, so I had the last of the books left for the readathon. My Harry Potter book of the month. Oh, I'll move this a little bit closer. It's actually 
and then my series that I'm in the middle of, and then my regular standing TBR of books that I haven't read yet. And this particular list is in order of when I've gotten the books, which is the same order I've always had my like standing TBR on. But anyway, we have my planner from this last year, 2019. I'll be honest, I didn't touch it for a lot of the year because I got so overwhelmed with the readathons. So, hence why I got that simpler one this year. But, I did go a little hardcore in this one for a while. Basically, tracked a lot of the same stuff. I had it sectioned off with what I did that day or where I went. But, um, the shows or movies I watched and the books I was reading. And then in the very, very, very back here, we have the standing TBR, which is pretty lengthy. And this isn't even including what's in my, my reading journal. <laughs> And then, speaking of reading journals, and we have my last three proper reading journals. I haven't gotten any more, mostly because like, they just got kind of overwhelming for me. But I, I do enjoy them, I just have fallen so far behind with reading marathons that I'm kind of like, oh my god, I don't know. Um, and then we have the TBR. So this is um, the books that I have lined up for the rest of this month as well as the um, next book that's in line for each of the series I'm in the middle of. And then these two. Okay, a little bit of battery change again. Um, so yeah, these last two here are the overflow from the bottom shelf from the books I've just finished and books I just got. So going more thoroughly through here, we have More Sideways Arithmetic from Wayside School by Lewis Sacker. Staying Strong 365 Days a Year by Demi Lovato. The Air by Kia Kaff, Kira Cass. Flight from the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage. Betrayed by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. Another Day by David Levithan. Um, the Crimes of Grindelwald Original Screenplay by J.K. Rowling. Sisterhood Everlasting by Amber Shears, which broke my heart. And Tiny But Mighty by Hannah Shaw. And now we go on to the bottom shelf here. And this is all books I've just recently completed that need to go back onto my bookshelves next time I do the reorganization. Or books I've just recently purchased or been gifted. The first one is Doctor Who The Slithian Excursion by Simon Guerrier. The Born Betrayal by Eric Van Los Bader. Dead on Arrival by Matt Richto. The Toll by Neil Schusterman. Yep. Yep, yep. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Peter Pan by J. M. Barry.
Tales of Beetle Bard by J.K. Rowling. Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Screenplay by J.K. Rowling. That Will Never Work by Mark Randolph. Recursion by Blake Crouch. And finally, Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Oh no. There we go. Okay. They made it back in. Alright. And so that covers TBR shelf cart. So across the top of my bookshelves, I figured I would also do a little bit of a view through there now that we've gone through all the books. So on the far left shelf here that we went through earlier, we have a bunch of these little um, stacker boxes with some have markers, some have old jewelry stuff, some have old charging cords, headphones, you name it. We have the wristbands from when Ed and I went to Disney with his family back in September. We have my little mini Hedwig uh, pop thing. We have my Doctor Who postcards, picture from camp, all of our tickets. I have a collection going from ages ago. I'm talking tickets going as far back as 2009 or earlier. Um, my Hermione wand in its box. My TARDIS pop from Alex. The rest of my old journals that are regular ones rather than the reading journals. Bibles. This mess. Um, a lot of this is the, I think these are the letters that I wrote with Shirley a couple years ago. <laughs> Um, and then more of my old stories. Um, we also have a couple of books and magazines in here. We can take this off the top. That's so first we have Inside the Magic, the making of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. We have Harry Potter, the world's most beloved wizard. We have Harry Potter Celebrate the Magic. And the Magic of Harry Potter Time magazine. And then a bunch of random notebooks. My old calendar from Shutterfly. Pictures that need to be filed away. The randomness. Got my bookshelves down there with my phone charger that I was using and my battery charger from my GoPro. Then on the third bookshelf here we have what used to be my primary home for my TBR. Um, so we have my reading journal here. My reading owl jar. Wow. Um, that has all the slips of paper inside. I also have some chargers in there as well right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Got a few slips in there so I can <clears throat> choose my TBR a little bit in there. We have my librarian diploma from Owls and Newts for this year, which I'm super excited to buy. Um, then we have the book jacket for Capturing the Devil that I'm in the middle of. And that's gonna tuck back in here so that the cats don't like destroy it. Hopefully. Um, a little signage here. Beautiful, so we're just gonna move along without it. 
Um, so we have the sign there. We have these books that need to go to Shirley or just don't have a home after I've unhauled them. Um, my spare dictionary that don't fit on the shelf and a couple cookbooks. <coughs> Got my ring lights, some markers, my Patronus canvas that lights up. Sometimes you have to smack it. That's the one terrible thing. There we go. And The Heap by Sean Adams that I just recently finished reading through, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to unhold that as well. That's why it's up here, which is my normal to be unhauled or put back on the shelf spot before the TBR part. And some more coloring books and activity books there. And I have this little music box that Eleanor brought back from Switzerland for me a couple years ago. Which was Harry Potter. Bookshelf, which has just Rubik's cubes and other stuff. So yeah, and that shelf has pretty much stayed more or less the same, except a couple of the books, uh, like a couple of the cookbooks, have wandered over, and Game of Thrones was donated because neither of us really ever truly wanted to get around to reading that after all. So. <clears throat> And of course we have my GoPro, which I've been filming with this whole time, and my little tripod. It is a selfie stick, but there's a tripod piece that screws onto the bottom. And that piece is on the couch. Down here. Middle. Tripod. Yeah, very handy. A lot better than the tripod I had before which I had to duct tape the GoPro to as seen in an old Halloween video Lisa and I from back at our old apartment yeah. <laughs> it's an improvement um, but now it is like 141 which is awesome I started at about 11 so that's way better than last year when I just didn't shut up about the books and took from like 10 30 to 4 so now I just have to figure out what I want to do for lunch and for the rest of the day probably doing some editing because I need to get better about catching up on all of that um, but yeah that is the end of the bookshelf tour all the books books for days over here um, but yeah I'm super excited for getting to expand them further and do a better like organization after the move, but it's pretty awesome. And then in a moment there should be, if I haven't already included it, there will be a final book count and also um, a list of books that I do not currently have in my possession from them being on loan to Cindy or Alex or whoever. Um, so yeah. That's it, I think. King! You wanna come in? Nina? Come in! Just like heck no. Nina! Why do you like this? 
Fine, kitty. That's it. It's just me, but um, I think 2020 is going to be the year of red for me. 